Hello, my name is Stan Yan, and this is Groovy TV. Live from the Breckenridge... No, it's not live. <laughs> from Breckenridge Brewery's Speakeasy Lounge. Woo! Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Stan Yan, the awesome artist of the century here at Breckenridge Brewery, and we were talking about Denver Comic Con. How the heck are you, sir? Oh, pretty good. Even better now with that high praise. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are the man, just because of your name, actually. But <laughs> Well, yeah, I think actually Stan Lee probably already has that trademark or something like that. Sells <laughs> here. <laughs> awesome, man. But you are a wicked awesome artist. That's why we love talking to you basically way too much so <laughs> tell me what you all got here man well i brought a few things that uh we didn't see at the denver comic con last year now uh, for those of you that have been keeping track of me i'd actually been in the process and just completed the uh pledge raising portion of uh my vincent price comic book kickstarter so cool and so a lot of the prints that i have here are actually celebrities that uh had been mentioned in the book, and wow. actually these all appear on the uh, cover of the book. Um, and so the uh, the prints of these, uh, and there's only a hundred of each, and, and a bunch oh, wow. of these are already gone, are um, going to be available for purchase at my booth. So that's like something that's brand new here. Now what, what uh, got you down the road of uh, doing some Vincent Price action here? Um, actually, it was uh, through Dan Crozier. Uh -huh. So, uh, oh, curse you, Dan. He had he had been doing a, a lot of illustration for the um, uh, Blue Water and uh, for Vincent Price, and uh, he had mentioned that he had always wanted to collaborate with me, and uh, if I had any stories that might be good one shots for uh, the you know the Vincent Price Presents series, and I'm like, uh -huh. you know what? There was one story that I'd been meaning to write for 24 Hour Comic Day, which was a story about me doing zombie characters to people at a comic convention, and. Uh, uh, so I, I sent him the script for that. He liked it, so he sent it on to uh, Darren at uh, Blue Water, and he liked it, and uh, so he ended up illustrating the book for me. And uh, so one of the things that I've been trying to do for the last several years is, as uh, I've been doing better and better financially at conventions because I've been doing zombie caricatures, mm -hmm. it's unfortunately been at the expense of my, my books. Well, your, your zombie caricatures are awesome. Like, oh. I've, I've seen you do a hundred of them, and they're all really free. Cool. I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, uh, I decided I was going to trick people into reading my books by giving them a copy of the Vincent Price book every time they got a zombie caricature. So they kind of, because they kind of become a part of the story because the story is about you know people bu buying my zombie caricatures at, at a comic convention, and uh, but I kind of felt a little weird over the last few years giving people something that I didn't draw after I drew them. So with Dan's blessing and the blessing of Blue Water, I kickstarted a version that um, I'm actually drawing. And I'm in the process right now of uh, drawing my backers into the book because the, the fundraising portion is, is concluded. And you, you blew it out of the water right here. Uh, yeah, pretty good. I mean, I, I set a pretty low goal but I actually made 250% uh, of, nice. of my goal, so that was exciting. Um, and uh, so a few of the other things that I'll be bringing with me mm -hmm. is uh, uh, the long-awaited uh, second edition of The Wang, uh, my first trade paperback. Um, Tell me about your Wang. Uh, well, it's kind of a sick and twisted uh, slice of life story, and uh, I actually tell people that uh, it's been favorably compared to The Simpsons and South Park, but neither of them specifically has anything to do with uh, office humor. So I'd say there's probably a little office space, you know, <laughs> in there. But you know, my main character has to deal with uh, things like Amway and and Est and things. I, I rename them something else, but uh, I guess I'm coming clean right now. <laughs> so. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, I, I just needed to re-letter it. So for uh, a few years, it's been out of print. Okay. And uh, so a lot of people have not been buying the sequel, which is a, kind of a murder mystery called Who's Your Daddy? And uh, But now it's available, and I'll actually be packaging this and the two other books in the series uh, at a discount for Denver Comic Con. Okay. And if, in fact, I'm able to... Uh, uh, get my son in uh, with a dealer badge or something like that. Uh, we may be um, selling this con exclusive zombie and pony uh, and the runaway dog. You know, one thing you could actually do is cosplay as Master Blaster from Mad Max, and he can be Master, and you can be oh, Blaster. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Well, we we've done like combo costumes before. His first uh, Halloween costume was in a Baby Bjorn. Uh, in the, hanging in the front of me and then I put a white t-shirt over him with a, a hole so his head could pop out and we put a like a, um, one of those uh, those crane alien um, heads on him from mm -hmm. uh, Toy Story yeah. uh, so he was, he was one of those aliens but then I put blood all around the hole so it was like he was a chest bursting <laughs> version of one of those those aliens from Toy Story so, so you can sneak him in no problem yeah yeah <laughs> But he's five now, so he's wow. he's much bigger. So um, I actually uh, started writing a children's book, which I may have like a copy of just for reading because it hasn't been published yet, uh, about my son's fear of my artwork. Uh, uh -huh. It's called There's a Zombie in the Basement. And this was inspired by him like about a year and a half ago. He wouldn't come down the basement, and my wife is like, well, what's wrong? He's like, I'm scared. He's like, what are you scared of? And he started pointing at all the zombie artwork all over my studio. And over the next hour, I wrote this rhyming story about... Uh, you know, a kid being afraid of uh, the monsters in the basement, basically, that are going to come up and get him. And uh, so since then, he's, he's gotten over his fear of my artwork. I, I like to think because of the book, you know. And figured out his dad's pretty cool with all his weirdness. Yeah, so he's actually started drawing monsters and zombies and things. So this is actually kind of, you know, a part of that. So he, one of the character is a zombie, and all the people in the story are kind of scared of him. So he creates like a chaos because he's trying to, you know, run after his runaway dog, and people are like scared, and they end up on the news and everything like that. And uh, meanwhile, and you know, he and the pony that he lives with are kind of oblivious to it all. So they're just more interested in having fun watching Phineas and Ferb. So. <laughs> so cool. Now, is there anything else at your booth uh, going to be Comic Con that don't have here? Uh, yeah, well, I will be doing uh, commissions. People can sit at my booth and uh, be drawn as a zombie or a My Little Pony or a zombie pony okay. or whatever else they want, really. So if someone went up to you and said, hey, I want to be this, you would do it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, or, you know, if they don't want to hang around, they're, they want to stand in line for an autograph or a photo op with a celebrity, they can actually, um, you know, we'll, we'll take their photo and then we'll do a mail-out commission after, okay. after the fact. Do you like passport photos and stuff, too? Um, I don't think they'll be official, but I can try. <laughs> And good luck with getting that through as your passport photo. <laughs> so, it doesn't look like you at all. There's no maggots on you in real life. <laughs> and you're a pony. That makes no sense. <laughs> so besides uh, your booth, which is going to be at Merchant Mesa, I believe you said? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It'll be at Corner Booths. So just look for me under Zombicatures by Stan Yan. I know some of you couldn't find me last year because... I change it to ponies versus zombies. I will still have the ponies versus zombies banner, but uh, yeah, it, it'll, I'll be listed in the program guide under a Z. <laughs> so besides your work at uh, Comic Con, what are you most excited about? Comic Con wise, that you're going to attend or see or hang out? Um, you know what? I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I, I have a lot of repeat customers that come by that have become my friends. So I always look forward to that. And, and a lot of the exhibitors, uh, I know for the second year in the row, my friend uh, AJ, uh, AJ Moore, mm -hmm. will be here. And I look forward to taking him to a few restaurants that he didn't get to go to last awesome. year. So uh, he, he actually, with his help, we found this great Jamaican place just not too far from here on, uh, wow. I think it's on 8th. Uh -huh. And uh, like real close to Santa Fe, which is it's awesome. It's the only one that I know of in town. I've never even heard of a Jamaican restaurant, yeah. so yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's excellent. It's wow. really excellent. So, and if you go over there for lunch, it's really reasonable price wise. So, uh -huh. are you like a co-owner or anything? No, no, not at all. I'm just a, kind of a foodie, you know. <laughs> 
a closet foodie. I'm not one of those that actually cooks. No. I'm just one that eats. <laughs> I have no idea. What you're awesome, man. Yeah, Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with the awesome, just the raddest artist ever, Stan Yan, Breckridge Brewery. Go to Comic Con, Denver Comic Con. It's going to be sweet. Bye. Bye. See you there. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.